Okay, number 32, last problem for commas, semicolons, and colons. Again, we see a colon here, and if we look at the answer choices, we see other options like a semicolon, uh, no punctuation, and a comma. So pretty good idea that we're going to have to test our punctuation knowledge here. So again, with the colon, we know that we have to have a complete phrase and an independent clause before the colon. And a good way to test it is just to read it and pretend the colon's a period. So over time, I've gotten to know several of my co-working colleagues. So over time, that's the dependent clause. I've gotten to know several of my co-working colleagues, independent clause. So this together is a complete sentence. Now colons, one of the things that colons um, do is they introduce um, a list. That's what it's introducing. Over time, I've gotten to know several of my co-working colleagues. So that works. That's a complete phrase. Then another website de developer, a graphic designer, a freelance writer, and several mobile app coders. So I see nothing wrong with this. This works. If we replaced it with a semicolon, we know that a semicolon has to have a complete phrase before, a complete sentence before, and a complete sentence after. So we do have the complete sentence before, but after, this is not a complete sentence. This is just um, a list. So can't be that. Um, and then with the comma, again, that doesn't work. The colon is more appropriate because it's introducing a list. And then D has no punctuation whatsoever. Over time, I've gotten to know several of my co-working colleagues, another website developer, a grad. So we need some sort of punctuation. So that's wrong. So our correct answer is A. So I hope these videos helped. Again, you just have to know your grammar rules for your commas, your semicolons, and colons. Once you know your grammar rules, these questions become pretty easy. And this test had, so we did number 4, 11, 15, 16, 26, 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 questions pretty much devoted to these punctuation rules. So uh, pretty good chunk of the test uh, that deals with this stuff. So once you know your grammar rules, uh, these problems become pretty easy. So hope that helped and I'll see you later.